Ah, uh, snow. A pretty common thing this time of year. Well, today on the Bearded Outdoorsman Top 5's, I'm going to bring you 5 facts that you may not know about the white stuff. There used to be a time when we were all kids, we couldn't contain ourselves at the sight of snow. Now as adults, it widely varies. The thoughts of limited travel on the roads, the dangers of losing power, and not being able to get your bread and milk. Well, without further ado, here are the top five facts about snow. Number five. Snow, like the ice particles it's made up of, is actually colorless. It's translucent, which means the light does not pass through it easily, but is rather reflected. It's the light reflected off a snowflake surface that creates its white appearance. But why white? The reason we see objects as colors is because some wavelengths of light are absorbed while others are reflected. Remember, light is a spectrum of colors. The object takes on whatever color light is reflected. For example, the sky is blue because the blue wavelengths are reflected while the other colors are absorbed. Since snow is made up of so many tiny surfaces, the light that hits it is scattered in many directions and will actually bounce around from one surface to the next until it's reflected. This means no wavelength is absorbed or reflected with any consistency, so the white light bounces back as the color white. But in fact, it doesn't always appear white. Deep snow can often appear blue. This is because layers of snow can create a filter for the light, causing more red light to be absorbed than the blue light. The result is that deeper snow appears blue. Snow can also sometimes appear pink. Snow in high alpine areas and the coastal polar regions contain cryophilic freshwater algae that have a red pigment that tints the surrounding snow pink. Number 4. Igloos can be more than 100 degrees warmer inside than outside, and they're warmed entirely by body heat. Since fresh, compacted snow is approximately 90 to 95 percent trapped air, meaning it can't move and transfer heat, it's a great insulator. Many animals, such as bears, dig deep holes in the snow to hibernate through the winter. Number 3. Nova Scotia holds the record for the most snow angels ever made simultaneously in multiple locations. In 2011, 22,022 Nova Scotia residents in 130 separate locations all plopped down in the snow to make snow angels. While North Dakota holds the record for the most snow angels made simultaneously in one place. Back in 2007, there were 8,962 people in North Dakota who plopped down in the snow to wriggle all around and make snow angels. Number 2. Not every big snowstorm is a blizzard. In order to be classified as a blizzard, a snowstorm must meet a very specific set of qualifications. Winds must blow at least 35 miles per hour and the snowfall must reduce visibility to less than a quarter of a mile for a period of at least three hours. Other common types of snowstorms include a snow squall, which is an intense snowfall accompanied by strong winds that only lasts a short time, and a snow burst, which is a brief intense snowfall that results in rapid accumulation of snow. Number 1. Snowflakes aren't the only form of snow. Snow can also precipitate as grapel or sleet. Not to be confused with hail, grapel or snow pellets are opaque ice particles that form in the atmosphere as ice crystals fall through freezing cloud droplets, meaning cloud particles that are colder than the freezing point of water but remain liquid. The cloud droplets group together to form a soft, lumpy mass. Sleet, on the other hand, consists of drops of rain that freeze into small, translucent balls of ice as they fall from the sky. And now for a fun fact. Syracuse tried to make snow illegal. America's snowiest city has an impressive arsenal of plows, but in 1992 it tried a new trick to control the white stuff. The city's common council passed a decree that any more snow before Christmas Eve was illegal. Well, as it turns out, Mother Nature is an outlaw. It snowed just two days later. Well, that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed or even learned something. Don't forget to subscribe. There will be more videos like this to come. Also, if you really enjoy these videos and would like to help out, donate at my Patreon page. Hope you have a good day.